Hey, this is Garrett Fry once again bringing you a little video tutorial on some cool tips and tricks about matte painting. This um, tutorial is based on an article on that's posted on my website, gfryart.com. And uh, you can go there and look up this article. It's called A Nice Solution for Animated Cars in Nuke for Matte Painting. So, um, that's where you can go read up on this and you can actually download the working files here so I wanted to show you just a little kind of a cool trick for doing uh, if you're working on a night shot matte painting and you want to bring some life into the matte painting through some little animated cars um, this is a really easy simple solution and um, if you take a look at this car it's just a basic uh, basic car uh, wheels um, and some cards here and I'll show you so I've thrown some textures on there so I'll show you what that looks like um, right here so so you see this is kind of the gag which is that I'm using little cards here for the front uh, of of these headlights that are actually lit already so, um, and then another card on the ground that is the light that's being cast onto the ground. Um, and then on the back, some tail lights. So the idea here is that, is that for a night shot, that's really all you see of a car, right? You see this, the lights on the ground, the tail lights, and you see some kind of shape that's occluding um, the different parts. So if you see it from this angle, you see the tail lights, but you don't see the headlights and you see this kind of being obscured on the ground like that so um, so I created this in Maya if I were to just take a look at and show you the um, how it's uh, how the UVs are laid out the UVs are laid out um, in with three patches um, this being the two cards the head and the tail light um, no no excuse me this is the head and the tail light this is the card that is on the ground, uh, the lights on the ground, and this is the body of the car, which is just going to be black. So um, I, after creating this in Maya, I want to recreate it or uh, put it back together in Nuke, export the elements, put them back into Nuke, and um, I guess let me show you how I put that together. Um, this here, uh, Nuke doesn't natively understand multi-patched objects, so I created this uh, UV patch texture offset tool, um, which will allow you to uh, read in multiple uh, patches for a an object. And this is a really simple object, and um, but I wanted to keep all of these um, images separate to manipulate you know if I wanted to dim these or flicker them or you know whatever then or turn them off then I could you know and I could manipulate these separately and this here is the body of the vehicle so um, it's being uh, in another tutorial I'll go over this UV patch tool but that's available for you there in the file just so you know um, and it gets put into this read card, this uh, my geo. So if we look at this in here, what I've done is I've taken, I've branched this off in a transform node and into another transform node. So I have two cars that are animated here. So it's a really easy gag, uh, and it looks in looks pretty good. So let me show you from the scanline render here. So let's take a look at this. Wow, you can't even. So small. So check that out. So that's one guy moving, one guy going away. So and all and all you see is the uh, is the tail lights and the headlights on the ground, and on the guy coming forward. Uh, you see the headlights there. So, for um, for nighttime map paintings, if you're just wanting to add some life 
um, some moving cars. Um, it's a really easy, easy way of, of doing that. So um, I thought it was pretty clever and a kind of a cool trick. So um, like I said, the, the working files, uh, this file is on my website, gfryart.com and you can find that in the tutorial section. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.